Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the old family farm. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. Hope your week is going well. Man, this, I tell you, I, the trailers I pick sometimes, I don't know. They are a little bit janky. There's no question about that. Oh, and we're missing a little bit of sugar here because I accidentally kind of drove over the unload um, area of our production barn up there and it started taking some sugar from us. So here's what we're doing. Um, Gwen has it in her little head that she wants to produce chocolate. So I gave her a check to buy milk so she bought some milk for our uh dairy and we're taking sugar over there i have no idea how much sugar this is going to require but we are going to take uh some sugar over there and let it start producing chocolate for us i guess she has a craving and she asked if i would be kind enough to you know help her get some sugar or some chocolate going and i told her i would we are winding it down here on the old family farm. In fact, uh, we are getting probably close to the end of the old family farm. Where do I unload this? Ah, right there. Okay. We are getting very close, I think, to the end of the old family farm and getting ready to move on. To our next throwback Thursday map. I, I honestly, I have no idea. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. I know we have a lot of sugar. I'm pretty sure we are sure. And I think we still have sugar beets too, don't we? Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of sugar. And I thought we left some sugar beets in our silo. So we still have another 50, almost 54,000 liters of sugar beets. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay as far as sugar goes. The cost of buying milk, well, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. And I have no idea if we'll recover that money from selling chocolate. I really don't know. But that's Gwen's problem at this point. I'm starting to hand the reins over to her. Um, I am here to assist at this point. I told her I'd stick around long enough to, well, probably to, to plant corn. We're going to plant corn this month. Um, in fact, I, I think it's corn planting month, isn't it? Uh, yes, we're going to plant corn this month. And then we've got the rest of our fields are are uh, growing so we've got to, I told her I'd probably help her with harvest and then I was gonna hang up the old farming boots uh, what do we need to do so that stuff right there is pig food I'm gonna make a guess that Omatana in fact I didn't she just oh there's a bunch of sugar didn't Omatana just update this mod to include pig food as a byproduct of waste? I think she did. I have no idea where we're going to sell it, or even if it will sell on this map. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Those are odd-shaped pallets, aren't they? That's why we're not able to grab anymore. All right. So what we're doing now, we are going to go sell a bunch of stuff over at our market stall. Gwen wants to load the stall up for uh, folks in the county and neighboring counties. Apparently she's handed out flyers. She's quite industrious when she wants to be. If I'm being honest, I think she is going to do well. I think the farm is in good hands at this point. I think she's learned a lot. Um, she's actually, as far as business minded go, she's a pretty tough business lady. And I know she won't put up with any of Clarabelle's garbage. And I'm quite certain um, if, <laughs> if Tiny and Betty Lou ever make another appearance, 
Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Oh my gosh, Tiny and Betty Lou meet my sister. Um, you know what? I don't have to turn. I don't have to worry about it. None of this will sell at the maple syrup stand. Let's uh, let's just go straight on with this here. French fries aren't accepted. Well, no, they're not silly. Pig food's not accepted. <laughs> Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Okay. So it'll buy just about anything. Yeah, go Jeepster. Get some. So we are going to try and unburden our production facility as much as possible. Boy, we are hauling it. We are coming in hot. Let's see if, um, uh, quite a bit of sugar. Okay. Is that all you're going to accept? Are these, I thought you would take more. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's get out of here. French fries, mixed salad. <clears throat> oh, and I also made a change. I should have made it last episode. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I did end up making it before I slept overnight. So our greenhouses, we had one lettuce, one tomato, and one strawberry. We don't need strawberries. We certainly don't need any more strawberries <clears throat> at this point at least. So... I changed the strawberry greenhouse to a tomato greenhouse. And something I always forget to do. Um, I set it to distributing. Duh, right? So our greenhouses will now automatically distribute to our production facility. So we shouldn't have to go over there and pick stuff up all the time. Excellent, excellent. Let's take a quick peek at... Let's take a quick peek at our production facility. Yeah, we're... Wait a minute, building storage. Oh, did we really sell through that much? Holy cow. Alright. Well, it looks like we'll probably have to... What do we have in stock here? We've got sugar beets, strawberries... Strawberries are only being used for what um, strawberry ice cream, and we don't have any more milk. And I'm not going to buy more milk for Gwen at this point. Potatoes, water we're good on, lettuce, yeah, <clears throat> that should do it for now, I would think. That'll free up some space in the production facility. It gets Gwen some some stock at her market stall. Gives us some money back for the milk that we bought. And I think we're good. All right. Hello, Mr. Duck. So we are going to plant some corn on our cornfield up yonder there. Uh, what do we normally use for what? Where's our corn planter? It must be up in the in the barn up here. Where's my? I'm always looking for stuff. Where is the Ford? There is the Ford up where we need it. And these are both cedars. There's our planter. Okay. Excellent. We'll get to planting some corn. Like I said, I promised Gwen I would, at the very least, stick around long enough to get the corn in the ground. 
and if she needed help with harvest with doing some harvesting I would uh, lend a hand with that otherwise I am pretty much leaving the bulk of it up to her she can change the rest of the license plates to Gwen's farm or Gwen's ride or Gwen's tractor have all of it the only thing she can't really have at this point is the dog he's mine I don't think I want to give up the dog so our other fields are still growing I think we've got at the earliest two months before harvest on any of them I believe forgot about our maple syrup <clears throat> we should be let's take a quick peek at that how is our maple syrup doing oh yeah we're doing okay there okay so let's make sure we've got we do have corn selected excellent <clears throat> Let's get this bad boy in the ground and going. And get some corn planted. Maybe do a little bit of a headland down here. Just give ourselves a little bit of space. So looking back on our time here on the old family farm. Like I said, we've got a little, probably an episode or two left. I feel like we've come a long ways. We've pretty much purchased uh, all of the, we pretty much purchased all of the farmland that's available. There's really not any other land. I mean, there's other land for sale, but really it would take a lot of work to get it ready for farming. It's pretty hilly. Honestly, I don't think I would want to be digging up any of that land. Um, God knows what Tiny has buried out there in the hills. This land, uh, this county was also known for not being particularly careful about putting uh, gravestones down. So, yeah not too not too much in a hurry to be digging up any old relics that's for certain Gwen is taking care of some store business today she is also um, doing some planning some farm planning for next season um, she wanted to get that out of the way while I was still here so she could get help if she needed it. I've really seen a turn in Gwen's attitude. It's been impressive. She has been a lot less threatening lately. Um, her um, middle of the night cry sessions have actually kind of pretty much stopped. I haven't heard anything lately. I've actually slept through the night without being woken up by her crying. Um, knives have been left in drawers. Um, the, all of the rat poison, my, my, uh, mice poison, um, and other different types of poisons that we keep around the farm have all been labeled properly and are actually in a cabinet now instead of sitting next to her bed and in the kitchen. So that's um, in the right direction. If I didn't know better, I would actually say that she is almost content. Almost content. I think she found her calling. I think she I think she used to make fun of my desire to farm, my love for farming, but I think it's grown on her. She won't admit it, but I think it has grown on her.
So I think most of this corn, the plan for most of this corn, I think is going to be straight to the production facility. I think we can get popcorn out of that production facility. You know, I'll be curious to see what she does with the farm after she uh, completely takes over, if I'm being honest. I'll be curious to see if she... When she gives it her own touch, it'll be interesting, that's for sure. I've thought about trying to find Tiny and Betty Lou. I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands with retirement. I think I just missed a little spot there, but that's all right. I think we'll be all right. <clears throat> um, I'm curious to find out what, it, what in the world happened to them. And maybe I will uh, take it upon myself to go... Uh, to go look for them. They... The last they were heard from... We got a postcard from them, if you remember. And it was an odd postcard. It was talking about... Something to do with having a message for the planet Earth and their alien friends and it was just weird and uh, didn't really pay much attention to it. As long as they're happy I guess that's all that counts. Maybe they just had enough of Santa Fe Springs you know, and just decided to bail and call it good. So I've been considering where we are going next with uh, Throwback Thursday. Been giving it some thought. I'd like to keep Throwback Thursday around for a while, I think. I'm going to miss the old family farm, though. There's no question about it. This map is one of my more cherished maps, no doubt. And I'm really, really glad that we took the time to, to play it here on Farm Sim 22. I was so happy to see that the mod author took the time to <clears throat> um, convert the map to FS22. I was so excited when I saw that. And um, hopefully I would be perfectly fine if, if we saw the old family farm on the next version of Farming Simulator. That would be great too. Uh-oh. It would also be great if I are we out of seed we're out of seed that's the problem Brad well let's go buy some seed then I didn't think we were going to go through it that fast so that's the question right is what's the next version of farming simulator I know they're switching to the mobile being odd numbers and the regular PC console platform being even numbers. I I can't imagine they would wait until 26. Right? Do we have any seed over here still? I thought we had a little bit sitting out here. I can't imagine that they'll wait for 2026, right? That seems... That just seems <clears throat> way too far away. That'd be four years. 
<clears throat> Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll do something like another expansion pack or something for this. I don't know. It'll be I'm curious to see. Are either one of these seed or are they both? I'm not seeing seed here. That doesn't say. I think that's fertilizer. This has got to be seeds here, right? Or herbicide. Let's find out. What are you? Uh, you're nothing I can use. So that must be herbicide. Do we have any more seeds in the barn? Nope. All right. Well, this isn't going to last us very long, this 250 liters of seed. So let's go see Gwen at the store and get some more seed, I guess. I didn't put any other seed down anywhere, did I? I don't think so. I thought this thing held a little bit more seed than it does, I guess. So, I guess, I, I, yeah, I can't see them waiting until 26. So, if that's the case, then we'll have a new version at the end of next year. Maybe they waited, I gotta think, uh, think this through a sec here, because, are you seeds? Did I not, what, what do I have going on here? You're not seeds. And you're not seeds. Do I not have any? All right. Well, that's lime right back there behind us. I guess I really haven't had the need to buy seeds until now. Well, let's make sure we don't have some store delivery set up and we can buy. <clears throat> let's buy a pallet of seeds. Liquid fertilizer, herbicide. Can we buy seeds this way or do we have to buy the bags? Herbicide, herbicide, fertilizer. Wait a minute. Uh, Seeds right here. We'll just buy one bag. That should do it. So we had 19. Farming simulator 19. That was an odd number. Then they waited their three years, right, to get it back to, to get it on even. We should, um, how lucky do you think we would be if we took this bag, set, set it on there, and brought it with us? Probably totally not legit, based on how big those bags are in real life. Those bags are huge in real life. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's easy to not... It's easy to get away from like perspective on how big things are in the game, but these bags are massive in real life. So yeah, my bet would be we're going to see an FS24, and that'll be at the end of... Shoot, that'll be at the end of this year, won't it? Is that even possible? See, that's the thing. That's the weird thing is, would they really release a, another full version? of the game at the end of this year because they're always they always release the full versions you know at the end of the year before right I guess it's totally possible it'll be I'm, I'm super curious to see what they go with on you know I wonder if we just left that there while we were planting would it just continually feed I don't think it would Let's see what happens. Why not? I have a feeling it's going to fall off, but we'll see here. So, it'll, I'm just super curious about what they have in mind for uh, the next version. Like, what new... features are there going to be 
and graphics and all you know brands and all that fun stuff so is it feeding it's not really feeding our planter is it I don't didn't think that was gonna work well if you're not gonna feed our planter well, okay we'll just <laughs> open close open close all right enough of that one thing's for sure they giants has to be busy they have to be busy with this mobile game coming out and with DLC I mean it, it, they've got to be a busy busy group over there I wonder what the mobile game I wonder how that translates with the people that work on the console and PC version or if it translates at all or do they have to hire people specific to mobile gaming design and stuff I would think that would have to be the case I don't know what kind of if there's porting tools that allow them to port any of the code from the console PC game over to mobile be curious because it, it seems like with the group that they have what are you doing Ford keep the engine going buddy um, it seems like with the group they have they they've got to be hopping over there that's for sure and it's got to be a big relief for them once this mobile game comes out but then they still have to support it and there's probably going to be updates for it as well so be very curious to see <laughs> I know for my wish list for the next version of farm sim I think they've been similar things, if I'm being honest with you, from previous versions. Like, I'm always wishing for, you know, improvement in physics, you know, better bail and pallet handling, logs, always wanting better log handling. Um, you always want more crops, types. It would be cool to see them advance the animal husbandry to some degree. I, I I have to believe that that they've got to seriously be be considering um, having you know the the baby animals and things. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen that yet, but maybe not at the top of their list. I would love to see um, GPS be integrated into the game. I know a couple console players that would love to see uh, GPS get integrated into the game. I'm going to miss some, aren't I? Oh, not quite. Almost did. Tell you what, it feels like this Ford is working pretty hard at pulling this planter. I was watching George Saunders, George Sanders, George Saunders photography. He's got a really good uh, farming channel. Don't let the name fool you. It's I think his channel is still called George uh, Saunders Photography, but it's basically a farming channel. What I like about his channel a lot is is it's he's in the UK, uh, so it's kind of interesting to see the equipment they use. A lot of it, you know, you see in the game because a lot of this is European equipment. Um, but he had a, a recent video where he was fixing his Ford TW. I think it's a 
TW25 or 30, I forget which one. I think it's a 25. And it's always fun to watch. Um, working on older tractors. He had a guy, I guess a friend of his, with an old McCormick. Um, had about 10,000 hours on it. I think it was, I, I forget what year that McCormick was, but oh, did that thing sound nice. Holy cow. Just a nice, throaty, deep-sounding diesel engine. Just sounded so good. It was in fantastic shape for its age, too. I don't remember seeing a McCormick that looked quite like it. It was it was boxier than the than the newer ones, you know. It kind of reminded me of. Um, it was kind of like that shape of like a. An Alice Chalmers kind of boxy or an old Case IH boxy kind of look to it. You know, the, like the 80s boxier style tractors. I think he said it had a Perkins diesel engine in it, but it sounded so good. Well, I tell you what, it made it easy planting this field, having these fake weeds, <laughs> having these fake weeds on there. Somebody left a note. I'm sorry. I apologize. I always forget the name of the commenter. I, I need to do a better job with that. But somebody left a comment on here I thought was interesting about, um, I think it was from the last episode about how they had heard that weeds if cultivated if you if you're using a shallow cultivator uh, weeds can return versus a standard cultivator I thought that was kind of interesting I'd never heard that never thought of that either so I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of testing on that and see if indeed the difference is a shallow cultivator versus a regular cultivator and if the game distinguishes those two when it comes to weeds, I'd be curious to to see about that. Well, we'll fill you up for Gwen's sake. And let's throw you back on here. Kind of handy. I'm sure that would never fly in real life, but... Here on the old family farm, we make it happen. So cornfield planted and done. Does that cornfield need uh, any fertilizer? Or are we good? Oh, we are so good. Yeah, buddy. No limage. No rolling. Oh, man. Gwen, we have made it easy for you. We have made it so easy for you. All you have to do now is sit back watch the stuff grow and get it out of the ground we'll probably help with that at least this this season who knows maybe next year she'll already be married off again and have little little baby Gwens run, running around the farm oh my gosh that'll be a nightmare Well, let's see how hack of a job I can do backing this in. You know, I've wanted I wanted to get an open shed like this so I could pull through. Not so I would have to And this thing is just I think just narrow enough to fit. Oh, there's no way. There's no way I I am going to do this. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, did I hook it? I think I hooked it. Um, Gwen? 
Your cedar's <laughs> your cedar is put away. <laughs> Enjoy that. Oh, I'll fix it later. She'll get mad if I leave it like that. But that would be pretty funny. Hey, Gwen, I put your cedar away. Oh, it's hooked on that cross member. Oh, that's not good. Well, all right, nothing to see here. Well, I think that's actually going to do it for uh, this episode of uh, Old Family Farm. Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? You know, I was noticing something. I know, this is bad. But they really, like, really had some detail work down there in the utter section. Look at that. I mean, somebody actually went out of their way to, to actually, like, yeah. To make that look pretty legit. Now, I don't spend a lot of time around that area of a cow. In fact, I spend very little time around a cow at all. But that looks pretty legit, I think. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It looks legit to me. Somebody cared enough to, you know. Got some water. Looks pretty good. And I tossed just a bunch of food in there to hopefully keep them fed for a month or two. This is all we have left for our hay. So, um, another surprise for Gwen when she has to come up with some more hay for the cows. Hopefully this meadow will be grown back and she can just keep cutting this for them. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Old Family Farm. And like I said, we are nearing the end of this. I'm ready to turn the reins over to Gwen. We put our work in. We've advanced this farm pretty well i think just looking back on how we started here on the old family farm i think we've come quite a ways got it into a pretty pretty decent functioning farm gwen still hasn't gotten her horses but that's something she can worry about got our new silo so yeah i think we did pretty well but we're not quite done yet like i said i am going to try and give gwen a little bit of help when it comes to the harvest and um, and then we're going to call it quits and move on to our next exciting adventure for Throwback Thursday. I'm really looking forward to. You all take care of yourselves. Thanks again so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day Thursday. I'll see you back in Hinterland Friday. And um, hopefully uh, hopefully this weekend too we can, uh, we can connect and do some more farming. So... Appreciate leaving a like if you would, if you enjoyed it, and then subscribing, of course, if you'd like. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.